Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And we kind of have some, somewhat of a story here developing. I wouldn't say it's an exclusive because most people. Um, that are on top of their game, they probably got it. So I'm not going to say it's an exclusive. But we got some issues going on, Nene. We got some issues going on. This was back in the day. I think it was, what, 2014, 15. Your eldest son, Bryson, was in a car accident. And it was alluded to, uh, he was, um, what do you call it? drunk or under some type of influence do you see how bad that car is it flipped over and guess what kind of car was it y'all it's a dodge challenger now nini is out here making videos clowning carrying on that son could have been dead long time ago okay now we got one son that's living with her her youngest son brett he don't found himself in a car accident similar to this. And what kind of car y'all think he had? Dodge Challenger, just like her oldest son. Now, Nene is no, not shy to controversy or any type of complications. She seems like she lives to be in the news. She makes herself be in the news. But I'm like, girl, I think you need to be paying attention to your sons, your young sons, while you're trying to run after a married man. Okay. Evidently, this is what your son was going through when Greg was alive. He was having emotional, unstable type mood swings. And around that time of 2013 in Johnson Creek, which is where your house was located. Your son got into a bad accident. Okay. Then you kind of banished him from seeing this young lady. Whom she dealt with probably uh, her son was a uh, Bryson's son. But I don't know what happened to that situation. Don't really care. But the whole thing is you're considered to be a husband stealer. Yep. You out there dating a married man. And, oh, yes, he is married still. And then shortly, sometime today, this evening, your son, Brent, which is Greg Leakes' son, got in his car accident. Yeah, and then you had to close down the Lanethia Lounge. Now, what kind of businesswoman does that? What about your employees that needed to work? Or was this a payday for them? Who gave them their checks, Nene? Because they need food, clothes, and shelter as well. Are you doing that whole new thing again? Or old thing, I should say, where you closed down all the swag boutiques you had and left those employees thinning for themselves? Scurrying around trying to figure out how they're going to get their money from you? Which I don't even know if they got till this day. But you worried about this man. That's married to that lady. Mal is what we call her. Skimmer. Shaba. Is what we call your fiance. Whoops. Did I say fiance? Lord. We don't need to bring that into no fruition now do we? Not when he is married to a whole nother woman. That he's just separated from. And that was supposed to be good enough. But yeah. They calling you a husband still right there. Nene. I'm like, you getting calm or brought to you quick, fast, in a hurry situation. Okay? We don't know. Probably hadn't even hit the news yet that your son was in an automobile accident. Okay? 
But again, why would you shut down the Lanethia Lounge? You don't need to be there while the uh, club lounge is uh, open and serving the um, patrons of the <coughs> excuse me the community. You don't need to be there. So why that you wasting money every time, every hour, every second of that business being closed? You're losing money. Yep, you're supposed to be the head bitch in charge. But you're not acting like the head bitch in charge. You letting people run you. Run you right, ragged it, and right into the ground. And then what are they what do you think they're gonna do? They're just gonna step over you and go to their next victim. Pretty much. Cause it's like you've been in a whirlwind type of situation. Oh my gosh. Ever since Greg died. And we're embarking on three months shy of his anniversary of his death. Like come on. You are embroiled in so much negativity. I mean you got your lawsuit going over there. With NBC University and their parent companies. And you turn around here. And you getting sued. Because this lady felt you took her husband away from her. And there goes those furry slippers. Woo child. And Peter Thomas. Y'all go watch the Jasmine brand. She's a blogger. She's a um, what do you call a writer for her own uh, newspaper or um, what do you call it? News column that's on YouTube. Uh, go watch her out. Shout her out. Tell her I sent you over there. But this has been one hell of a month. Well, we just got into this month. So, we're going to say May was a hell of a month for Miss Nene Leakes. Okay. Which she's still carrying her married name. Which is dumb as hell. You know what I'm saying? Go on back. But I guess that's how we know you as Nene Leakes. And we don't know you by your other government name. Um, that you were when you were younger. Coming from your mama or father's side. Who, who gives a shit? But anyway. Yeah. Your youngest son just had an accident. So you thought it would be befitting to close your restaurant. Which is giving you revenue. Which is paying your employees. Which is not letting your patrons come in and try to have a good time on Friday night. I never understood that. I don't think I ever were privy to seeing a business close down. Just because it was a family emergency. I mean you don't necessarily have to be there. At your business. The people that you hired. The person that you hired to run the club. Well I guess that would be Brent wouldn't it. And he's incapacitated at this time. Hopefully he didn't suffer any real damaging injuries. But yeah girl. Something ain't right with your situation. You the first one that I know would shut down a business. All the way I know businesses would shut down and don't want to lose money or their revenue stream for that particular day or weekend or whatnot. Um, fire had to be in the building. You know, some type of damage to the actual building would be where they wouldn't open up. But just a simple thing that your son got called. Or got caught up in an accident and you had to rush to his uh, bedside or whatnot. Uh, your business was still supposed to be open. You're supposed to have people to run it while you're not there. That's a lucrative business. And that's just business 101 that you should know about. So, I don't know. I look like you don't screw your employees over again. Hopefully, you will pay them. Uh, since the club is not going to be open or the lounge is not going to be open this weekend, Nene, you need to pay those people that were scheduled to work. You should not have to talk to them and try to make them understand the reason why you couldn't come because you were tending to your son, allegedly. They don't want to hear that because they got problems of their own that they can't bring to work and put on you. So it would be very dirty for you to try to do that to them. But anyway, doll, that's all I got for this particular video, honey. It's just one thing after another with this Nene. I'm like, girl. Karma is coming for you quick, fast, in a hurry. It's looping to make a circle. 
right back around to where you are. Your son, youngest son in an accident today. Your oldest son had the same type of accidents in the same kind of car in 2013 or 15 or something like that. Then you got this lady after you that you don't even know from a can of paint. Telling you and the whole wide world that you're cheating with her husband. And she needs to be seeking compensation for that devastation that both of y'all have brought to her. <laughs> Ooh, child. Child, child, child. And you could thank Peter Thomas for that. Because he the one set y'all up. But that scammer, Shaba, he may look good, he may dress good, he may smell good. But he is no good, and he is no good. I mean, Portia won't even listen to me about Papa Smurf, a.k.a. Father Time, a.k.a. Flipperhead. She won't listen to me on him. And I guess you're not going to listen to me on Shaba Scammer. Okay? So I guess y'all have to learn the hard way. Y'all can't listen to somebody that's really tried to look out for you. To see the forest for the trees. Since you can't seem to do such a thing. And it just is what it is I guess. You're going to have to learn through your own mistakes. And your experience from de dealing bad. Doing bad dealings. Okay. But that's all I have for this video guys. Y'all like it. Love it. Got to have more. Make sure you stay tuned. Because I definitely will be uploading a lot this weekend. Okay. To play catch up. Because it's just so much going on out here. And we all need to be a little nosy about our neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Okay? But that really was from uh, Katrina Leaks. I don't know how she got a, uh, got this. Maybe she sold it to the Peach Report or uh, reported it to them. Because Nene wasn't saying nothing. Okay. But when she gets in her mood. Where she wants to play the victim. Then all of this tragedy comes out. That she's been holding in. And trying to keep from the public eye. And how she's feeling all about it. And then I guess she's going to go do that thing. Woe is me. Woe is me. And we don't want to hear it. Nene. We don't want to hear it. But I'll see y'all next video. Take care.